All right, guys, how's it going? So here we have the Dell G7 gaming laptop. Uh, I think it's 7588. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the, the RAM. Uh, we're also gonna replace the battery with this. And as you can see, it actually comes with its own screwdrivers, which is pretty nice. And the other thing we're gonna do is replace the SSD card. First, I mean, this isn't really required, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on so that way there's no chance of static. Make sure to connect it to a part that's metal so that way you're grounded. Let's go ahead, turn it over. Just to let you know, for the majority of this, uh, we are probably gonna use um, this one right here, one. To open up the laptop, all you really have to do is unscrew this one screw and carefully uh, snap it open. So before we start taking out any screws, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this this is pretty handy, it's actually magnetized. And let's go ahead and take off the battery first. So to take out the battery, just unscrew these six screws and make sure that you don't lose any of them. go move that to the side now we can take off everything else uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off next the solid state drive okay that's the old one next we're gonna take off the rim I mean, you can do it with the fingers, but I just went ahead and did it with the it's my screwdriver. That's the old RAM. Let's go ahead and set it to the side. And there we go. So now we took off the RAM, we took out the FSD drive, and we also took out the battery. Over here, this is where you would put the H uh, hard disk drive, if you had a hard disk drive. Uh, and here, is where you take off the vents or the filters. Right, now once that's done, you can just push this up. There you go. It's not too bad. Okay, now we have this exposed. So this is actually the processor right here. Um, and these are the fans. So actually we're gonna take this off. For this part, you may have to go a size smaller uh, for the screwdriver head because uh, it may not be so obvious now but when you are taking them out uh, there are different size screws and this is just so that way we can have easier access to the fans or when we clean them with the air can. So this next part is going to be a little long but that's just because I want to show you guys how exactly I took off my, um, my case. Uh, as you can see the, towards the bottom, I did actually take off my microprocessor and I just have the pieces uh, uh, staying there. But here, 
essentially what you want to do is kind of put your nails or take a couple pieces and put it within the cracks so that way you can get it open. Now something that is important to know is you you want to make sure you take off all of the screws and don't crank too hard. So like for example here, it's not it's not opening and that's because I later realized that I missed a couple screws. And see, it's just not popping up in with any of the tools. So I take, I have to take a look back and I see that, okay, on this side, it actually does open, but over here it gets stuck. So that's when I realize there is a screw hiding back there. here because all the circuits are tied so let's see just gently pull on everything do it with the plastic This one, pull it from the little brown part. Right here. And this one, same thing. Lift it. Oh, actually, no. I like that one, you just pull. Whoa! Cool. So now that we got this out. And this is kind of cool. This is probably why it can't come out because of the screws. But I'm not too concerned about that part. What I really want to do is just be able to separate this from the keyboard. That was really my goal. So let's see. What do we have to do in order to separate it from the keyboard? Looks like we got to take off all of this. And then this is the mouse pad right here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start separating them. So to get access to the keyboard, I did have to change the head of my screwdriver to A0. And just to let you know, this next part is going to be a bit tedious because as you can see, there is a lot of screws uh, holding the keyboard together. As you will soon find out, there are some hidden screws, so if it doesn't come off immediately, be patient and just look for the hidden screws. You know, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to take off that strip, but now I see I might just have to. Because see the screws underneath it. So it is glued here. 
be gentle with it. Don't pull too hard. Remember you got tools so you can use the tools as well. how strong these screws are like nope you're not moving it okay oh and I missed another one here all right everyone as you can see I've done it taken out all the screws there was one sneaky one right here see there's the hole and then, of course, you gotta take these off so that way you can also lift it. And then, there you go. There we have it. So, over here, nothing. Keep everything intact right there. And when you lift it, also be careful right here in the back because this is still connected. So, don't pull too hard. And as you can see, all the gunk. Ew. <laughs> Right now, I'm going to take this, I'm just going to So I'm just going to lift it, going to pull it out. Lift it all the way up. And pull it. There we go. Yeah, that was making me nervous. Uh, look at that. Now, of course, if you have your own keyboard to replace it with, that would be great too. I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything else with it, really. For the rest of the video, all I really did was spray air for the keyboard as well as the fans and the other parts of the computer that I showed. And I don't want to bore you with putting everything back together because all it really is is doing the same thing but backwards. And if you really need a tutorial to put everything back together, go ahead and comment down below uh, and let me know so that way I can go ahead and just do the same thing but backwards. Now once again, once you have the computer disassembled like that, you can go ahead and change the RAM, the SSD, you can even include a, a hard drive in there if you wanted to, the processor, and even the keyboard itself. Which I, in the end, I actually did change the, the keyboard just cause my left side, my Q, A, and Z uh, were not working. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and let me know if you guys need more detailed pictures or, you know, tutorials about how to take apart and put your computer together. With that said, thanks for watching and have a nice day.